I was really interested in many things. I had a kind of obsession uh, for nature and philosophy, asking what am I, what is a human being. In high school, it started as, as, a, as a lazy solution because it was easier to go to the afternoon art class than to go to the other classes. I think I did my first sketches from observation in old masters. Two people told me the same thing. One is one of my best friends told me, you know you have it, you should go to, the, to art school. And also my, my father saw my, me walking and said, maybe you, you, you need to go to an art school. So I, I tried to go to Betzalel Academy. I used uh, as my portfolio the things I did at the high school and I was not accepted. And I think it was good. Because then I went to Sabina Mandel, she's a painter in Haifa. With her, I started to draw every day. A year later, when I tried to go to Betzalel Academy, it was, it was easy, I went in. Most of my work coming from drawing. Even when it's in or on wood, and even when it's with chainsaw and three-dimensional, it's drawing. From the, the basic drawing, I started to look for frequency of a line, not one line that is supposed to be the shoulder or the head. If I make a hundred lines, somewhere here, the, I, I can fit it, the shape. My work is not so easy. They're all connected to my fears, done with inside observation and not outside observation. I don't use photos and I don't imagine a specific face or a person. I almost cannot remember faces. I understand essence. I can see you 10 years from now, from the back, and I will feel that I know this person. But I will not have the connection to, to exactly what or who. Sometimes people are uh, afraid or, or, or intimidated by my work. It's interesting that the people that do an inside research on themselves or helping other people, they find themselves in my work. So psychologists and stuff, they are my clients in a way. It goes back to my parents that they are both psychologists. Checking my soul and, and asking what is a human being and how do I connect and how do I see it and how do I remember it is something that I think is in my blood. As an artist, I did have a lot of misconceptions about myself and about art. And it's really difficult not to have misconceptions because I learn art from what I see and what I see is Western classics of art, which is one way of, of talking about delivering experience. And when I do think about sculptures, I think a lot about primitive sculptures. And when you look at primitive sculptures, it doesn't matter if it's Polish, Indian, if it's from the 18th century or 18th century BC, they tend to address the form of the square. There is always an two-dimensional attitude even in the 3D sculptures. And I really connect to it. So when I work with wood, I'm dealing with something that was alive. I'm playing with bones of plants. I do something and then they talk to me back and I do something and talk to me back. But when I do it, I don't see exactly what I'm doing. Because the line on the wood, the drawing on the wood is, is very thin. And when you carve it, you lost the drawing and you just like, no, I know that I need to carve this area or that area. They re-emerge only when I put the ink at the end. Art is a way, it's a road, not a destination. Making art is being on the way. I'm trying to find myself. I'm trying to get closer to my own being, my own reality. The meaning of life is, if I will take the Buddha attitude, is to be, get rid of the suffering, and art is one of the ways for me. <clears throat> Other people can play soccer for the same thing, you know? <laughs>